What's up everybody? This is Tyson with HHO for Life. Um, just checking in with you again to give you a little video of my cheesy HHO generator. Um, it is kind of cheesy, but it works for now. I'm just doing a little bit of testing um, and a little bit of just having a little bit of fun. Filling up balloons and blowing stuff up and filling up pop cans and lighting them and having them shoot across the driveway like rockets. Uh, just different things, so I'm trying different uh, setups as far as um, like having a positive on this side and then having the rest negative to see the difference in like I don't have anything to measure the uh, the amount of hydrogen and stuff or the distance uh, or the type of explosion, how much power there is and stuff right now, so um, you know, really sound and then then just uh, putting the gas onto into like a balloon for the same amount of time and taking it out and uh, comparing the different types of explosions. So that's all I'm doing. It's nothing really great or anything like that. But it's fun for now because it's just what I have. So this is it guys. <clears throat> I'll just put it together for you. All it is, is I have a rubber cap right here, a 4 inch rubber cap, a uh, hose clamp, a 4 inch piece of ABS, another rubber cap, and there's supposed to be a hose clamp for that, but my kids tick off with it, so I haven't found it. And then, right here on the top, if we can focus, I have a nipple, it's got, <clears throat> it's got a... Uh, the barb fitting on this side and then on this back side right here I've just got a nut on there but it's threaded on that side so it goes to a half inch mill pipe thread to half inch um, barb fitting so then what I have right here is I just cut out an, a, a little piece of gasket you can get this gasket material it's a sixteenth inch thick at Lowe's I actually got all the stuff at Lowe's because that's where I work and I get a discount, so it's kind of nice. But that's it. What I did for this, for the setup of the plates, is I have a positive, five neutrals, and then a negative, or your vice versa, whichever way you decide to connect it. Doesn't really matter. Um, some people say that if you keep swapping one plate from positive to negative, it will build up it'll it'll cause build up I don't care it doesn't matter to me um, because this is just a test model so I'm not worried about that right now what I have for my spacers is the same type of gasket that I had right here on the top that's just the six sixteenth of an inch gasket material this gasket material um, basically what it's for is to create your own gaskets for like plumbers and stuff if there's an odd size of a gasket that they need, they can just cut it out of the material. So you can find all the stuff at Lowe's. My plates are stainless steel blank cover plates for electrical outlets and and whatnot. Um, so that's all that is. And then I have it zip tied together here on the ends. I was going to use nylon bolts and nuts, but... They didn't have the right size, and I didn't have a drill bit to drill bigger holes to get quarter inch um, bolts, so I just used zip ties, and it's worked. It's worked perfectly fine. Um, I just have copper wire. I kept the coating on the wire just to prevent them from corroding as much, and just stripped them down at the ends where they connect to the plates. And I did shove them in between the plates, so I'm actually having two positive and two negative plates per side. So it does get a little bit warmer because I don't have enough neutrals in between to to divide the current um, or the voltage. So yeah, but just stab those wires through the top. I'm going to be putting a bolt in. Um, that way I, it's completely sealed off and I don't have any leaking at all. So, just a couple little stories on this, guys. 
Well, first, it got this nasty coating on it. Um, it's like it, it's a, poor, it's, it's not a very high quality grade of stainless steel, so it's corroding away on me. But that's all right. They're only like a dollar fifty a piece. Not a big deal. I'm not too worried about that. Once I get into my final designs, I'm gonna use 316 stainless steel. But okay, so funny story. I was messing with this the other day, just playing around. Hooked it up to my battery in my car and was making HHO gas. Well. I was filling some pop cans up with the HHO gas and lighting them and they'd shoot across my driveway like rockets, like I said at the beginning of the video. So then I got this idea, hey, well why don't I get one of my juice bottles, like my gallon juice bottles and fill it up and light it. So I did. I filled it up with HHO gas and I had my generator sitting here. Um, it was out on my driveway and then I had the bottle, like the juice bottle sitting like three feet away from my generator, okay? After it was filled up with gas, I decided to light it. Well, I wasn't thinking about it, and I had the nozzle of the bottle pointing towards my hose, and it was a huge explosion, guys. I lit it, and I instantly went deaf for about 30 seconds. And the flame shot across about three feet, went up my hose, traveled up through my hose, and blew up my blew the lid off my generator so it was pretty sweet just be careful when you do it though um because you don't want to hurt yourself but yeah that's it guys so y'all have a great day this is tyson again with hho for life peace out and keep up the comments and the good ideas um I do have a gas vaporizer that I am in the process of developing because um, I'm trying multiple ways to try to save people to try to try save people on gas costs and different things like that. So I'm using ultrasonic transducers along with uh, air intakes into a tank and stuff to to allow gas vapor to go into your engine and be used as a fuel instead of the liquid gasoline being sprayed. Um, and that should increase gas mileage and power and the efficiency of the burn. So I'm also going to implement HHO into that process so that we have gasoline vapor and HHO so it makes it even that much more efficient and you, you have, that, you have uh, much better gains in fuel mileage um, and also power for your car and stuff. So I'll be posting a video once I get that completed guys. Um, right now I, I'm just doing a uh, I'm, I'm putting my design on Google SketchUp for now. That way everybody can see it and they can rotate it and see the different things that I have. Um, that way you can reproduce it. But I think it's going to be pretty good. Once I have all the details on that and have everything worked out, I'll post a video, guys, so that you can see it. Um, just give me your, your comments and your input because it's definitely appreciated. Um, there's been things that I have changed with my designs because of what you guys have said so um, you guys all have a great day and peace out love y'all see you bye